Hello, you probably clicked on this video because you want to know how to do claw simulations, like this. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go. Okay, so now hop into Blender. So delete this cube and you can delete this light. And now we need an object you want the cloth to fall on. So I'm at import a gorilla. Uh, the, uh, the link to get the gorilla will be in the description. Now, now that I imported uh, my object, you can change the color of it and you can uh, change uh, some factors to it. Like I'm gonna add a subdivision surface. Now that we have the gorilla here, click the, the body of your object and press collisions because you don't want the cloth to go through it. Okay, so now after I got this all done, now let's add the cloth. So press shift A and then enter a plane. And this will be your cloth. So move it up, whatever height you want, and size it, good size. Now that uh, it's in place, add a modifier, and then add a subdivision surface, and make it simple in two. It just gives it more detail. Uh, then go to the phys physics tab, and press cloth. And now uh, you can go down to cache so this is where it, this is where the simulation starts and where it ends so I'm gonna go only 50 frames so it renders faster now press tab and subdivide your cloth as much times as you want the more subdivisions the more detail I'm gonna do this much then after that press tab to get out of edit mode and then press bake right here and it will take a few some time and then you can press play and this is what it will look like. See when you, uh, and when you see when you play it, you'll see these like squares and it kind of looks pixelated. And you can fix this by going and sizing up the, the object in the cloth. So go back to frame one and then click your object and the, the cloth and then just size it up a lot more. Uh, then after you size it up, uh, go click the cloth, and then go down and add a, uh, go to collisions right here, and then add self collisions, and this will make it so it doesn't go through, and uh, then right click and shade smooth a couple of times, and uh, then change it to longer, because it will take longer to fall, and then press play. and it made it a lot more smoother. And that's how you can do claw simulations. Let me show you to, how to make the scene look better for rendering now. So you can go to your camera, then press view, navigate, and you can use WASC to move, and you can put it into place. And I'm gonna put it like right here. Okay, so after you put it in position, press the output tab right here, and then do 1080 resolution, by 1920 resolution and now it's uh, more in a short form uh, then we can add a uh, floor so press shift a plane size that up as as much as you want and uh, then you can change the color to whatever you want I'm gonna make it black and uh, then to get it reflective you can change the metallic all the way up and roughness down and you can mo move your scene up, so you can drag it up. Then go to the, the render tab and turn on ambient inclusion, bloom, screen displace, reflection, and motion blur. It makes the render look better. Uh, then you can go, if you're using a gorilla, you don't have to just, if you're using an object, but you just go down to pose mode and move it down into position. And I click this because it mirrors the hands on both sides. And I could, I, I'm gonna make the, and then you can go out, and then I'm gonna make the cloth a little bigger. Okay, so now your scene's kind of looking like this, and if you press render, this is what it looks like. It's pretty dark. So you can do Shift A and add a point light, and then bring that up and kind of put it to like the side. It looks better, and then turn up the brightness like a ton. And I'm gonna put it 
put it like right there. Now you can change the scene color too. Like if you go to this world tab, you can bring this to make it lighter too. Like I'm gonna put it like right there. And uh, now uh, you can bake it in because I did edit the thing a little. Okay, now you can rebake it after you set your scene up. And then when you press play, it goes on it. Okay, so now since you got the whole scene set up and the claw simulation, click output and then go down to the output. And this is going to be like your destination on where you want your render to go. So put that to wherever you want. Uh, then change your file format to video. Uh, then click encoding and make it medium quality or high quality. I'm gonna do high quality. Go up to here, press render and render animation. And that's how you use claw simulations in Blender. Subscribe.